Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some Victoria 2. Colonless, welcome to the stream. And... The hell? Oh, look! Gracia's popped out. Hey, look at that. Hello, Gracia. Um, I figured out why this has happened. And you guys are gonna laugh. I've completely ignored the commerce section. I have, like, no commerce techs, including the early tech which gives lumber. How much have I been struggling because of this? Like... Good God. And these are really good too, because precious goods, production, output, and market size. I actually make a lot of production of uh, precious goods. And, it, like, how much production of goods do I make? Alright, it is actually just that. Oh, I'm just really angry at myself. How much do I actually make? I could... Oh, there's so much space that I could be making so much money from more precious good production. And, like, look at all this tax efficiency. I'm just so stupid. And there we go. Yeah, limited constitutionalism. Causing an election, but that's all right. Annoying, but what are you going to do, right? I just I just don't understand what is actually wrong with me, though. But Austria is literally just catching fire. It's, it's really sad. I love it. I'm just, they're just catching on fire. Trading privileges questioned. Opening up for all free stuff. Getting primary efficiency and mining efficiency. Uh, yeah. Sure. Belgium. Increase opinion. To friendly again. Keep doing that. I just can't believe how stupid I am. Uh, planned economy. Uh, yes. And once again. Oh. Austria's going to pop out into Hungary. They're going to pop out into Hungary. Look at that. That's sad. Yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, I hate to see it. We're going to wait now for mass politics to finish. And as soon as it's done in March, we're going to then grind out these techs and we're just going to start building lumber mills and furniture everywhere. So that's actually probably been a big drain in our economy, the fact that we've had to build so much. Look, look now we have even more wood production. Like, this is insane. How... How stupid do you have to be? Like, there's no... Actually, I haven't even got introspectionism. Oh my god. I've just been skipping things, guys. But it is now 1914. There has been a great war, but... Nothing exceptionally interesting. My senior excavation legal issues. A little money can help. Relation with Greece changed. <laughs> I'm Greece. Ah, oh, less militarism in Turkey because I managed to put down the rebellions. I love it. I'm starting to give them the ability to vote. Isn't that great? Re-allied cause. I just want to beat people up, honestly. A heated debate, protectionism. Persia does seem like the next best thing to take. I'm annoyed myself that I've been allowing myself to do this. Well, we make tons of money now. There's, there it is. Right. Commerce, early classical theory, for the love of Christ. Like, honestly, me. Okay, Bosnia. Is there anyone who does not have... Ah, oh, Thrace is so intellectual. Okay, yeah, you need, you need intellectuals. You, you, you need intellectuals. There you go. You need school. You need school. You need books. Police state. Beautiful. Oh, look how fast that gets. It's like a month. Love it. Mechanized mining. Oh, god damn it. We are the liberal anarcho-liberal parties. What? Excuse? No. I think you mean the reactionary party or even the fascist party. Okay, fine. Reactionary party. Sorry, but that's how it's going to be. Yeah, I guess. Oh boy, people get very angry. Protectionism, planned economy. Censored press. Fine, I'll go to censored press. I need to keep people happy. Let's go late classical theory. So stupid. You finally call this like Panzer Jun. Welcome back to the stream, my friend. I am now Greek Empire, not Byzantine, but I will fix it later on. Don't worry. 
Okay, so now let's take a look at our states. Right there, let's get sawmill. Uh, sawmill. And also, where's furniture? Do I not even have the tech for furniture? I don't even have paper or furniture. Or luxury furniture. Yeah, I know I do. I, I was Byzantium and I, I had to get rid of it. I'll fix it at the end of the game. But unfortunately, I'm just struggling too much with the rebellions. I haven't been able to make paper this whole game. I have had to buy all my paper. Son of a... Oh, dear. Oh, oh okay. I can now finally defend against gas attack. Oh, I need to be building dockyards. Oh, I have to one by one go across and find the dockyards and build them. One by one. Dockyards, dockyards, dockyards. Because I want to try and build some ships, please. How do you even run a government without paper? I'm having to import every paper I make. Which means I've just been selling all of this wood and only artisans have actually been making or using paper. I'm an actual idiot though. How have I managed to get through life like this? I just don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. We call it colonist paper. I don't think that's true. Oh my god. Maharaja defaults. Don't care. Alright, Emoesia. I want a sawmill. In Dardania. Okay, Dardania needs space. Problem is Dardania is also one of my main states. Doesn't produce... Ah, oh, look at all that stuff they're making. Oh my god. Six telephones. One automobile. I am well, colonists. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you are well as well. One tank. Not anywhere near enough machine parts. Uh, I actually cannot get rid of any of this. Scratch that. I'll get rid of this. Dardania, bye-bye, lol. <laughs> oh, Bill. Let's go. Here we go. I'm actually going to have unemployment. Oh, my God. I need to work on my work on this. And we are still very shy on cement as well. There we go. Okay, cool. We've started to fix our country. If uh, Hungary pops out of Austria, I could start to justify on them and take them. That would be incredible if I could do that, but I don't think I'm going to get the chance. I guess. Friendly again. Hooray. Someone just keep kicking me out of it. I can't believe how much I've been skipping. Just look at all this tech... Oh my god. Patent trade in the factory cost, tax efficiencies, farming output, coal output, iron output. Oh. <laughs> Is there any reason to puppet nations? Uh yeah, you know, it's less it's less infamy. You know, you get to automatically spare them, you get to use them in wars, and they act as a nice buffer. I just want to conquer everything. I just I want everything to be my borders, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. All right, we're going to be slowly catching up. Railroads are still getting built, which will be really good. Lancashire Loom, baby. I am desperately trying to get more craftsmen in my various places. Let's take a look at Moesia. Uh, a very tasty state. Moesia? What does Moesia make? It actually makes cotton. So... Let's make a... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I just I just upgraded every single factory that was near it. I just spent a million. Oh, 
I just spent a million. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted it to do it to this one. Oh well. <laughs> We're trying to make a lot of clothes, basically. In Moesia, that's... To be honest, yeah, it is Moesia I want to focus this on. I don't think I need this. Yeah, the wine is not necessary. How many people does this bloody wine no, employ? Greek tomb discovered. Yay. Organized factories. Stock exchange. Because then we start increasing some tax efficiency for the love of Christ. Oh, God, I'm so annoyed at how stupid I am. I actually can't contain myself. I genuinely cannot contain how immensely frustrated I am with myself. I really can't. Prestige. And there is furniture. Beautiful. And as before, you. You will now make furniture. I know it's not much, guys, but you being able... Autarky, a policy of autarky is very important. Because it means when the wars kick off, you don't have to rely on everybody. You know what autarky is? Autarky is the idea of self... Not self-determination, but like... The idea that you can... Bend for yourself if necessary. You can look after yourself. And you can provide for yourself. And why are there radios? I haven't made radios yet. So oddly enough, I do actually make enough luxury furniture. But I could build tons and make way more and sell it and flood the market. Furniture, I actually make a lot from just my artisans. But hopefully I can get rid of them and move them over to craftsmen. Because they are more efficient and they're better class-wise. So let's increase this again. Yeah, self-sufficiency for war materials. Yeah, it's very common back then. It's a very common idea. You do very much want to try and have that. You want to be somehow, be at least a policy of autarky is very important. Not, you're screwed. I don't know who my next war goal target's going to be. I'm really not sure who to pick. I'm making tons of cash. I'm going to try and tax people a bit. Change trade goods to iron in Katingi. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to say yes, but... It's an eggy. E. Awesome, what state is that? It's the state of Prevoltania. Which is already iron. But yes, I would like that, thank you. How many people live in Prevoltania? I have a feeling it's not many. <laughs> oh, it isn't, is it? Okay. And I would not say they are the most educated people. Does Prevoltania have factories? It has a ton of factories. Okay. That's all right, then. Let's get rid of this. Just, just leave. More tanks. Press this now. This rebels have risen in Argentina. Well, that's going to happen, yeah. That'll happen. Fascist rebel organization gain. Oh, baby. Give me those fascists. Tax efficiency. I can't believe how much tax efficiency I've been missing out on. I'm just so annoyed about that. Oh yeah, it's Austria. I don't really want Austria to get anything. I kind of just want Austria to implode so I can eat them. That just seems way more fun to me. <laughs> Building railroads. Those, those factories are going to take a very long time. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on just upgrading a billion factories at once. That was not really my plan. I had to sphere. I just bought, I just brought Belgium into my sphere. Oh my god, Belgium's in my sphere. Belgium is in my sphere. That's amazing. All right, collectivist theory, precious goods, outputs. That, more people. I make, oh, I only make 2.6 from precious goods. What is that? Why is it so low? Wow, that is low. Okay, I don't really care then. But factor of input tech, it just, you know, it makes things cheaper, basically. But this would be really good too. There's some factory cost reductions. But look at those tax efficiency bonuses. Oh, it's the only game where I can be like, tax efficiency, so good. 
but farming output 10 percent and coal production and iron production and oil production is just so good i've been missing out on all of them uh, <laughs> every one of them might actually start to be able to get to catch up with coal and iron maybe not iron though because we need so much iron And we do not make any. We need more iron, basically. We just need to invade for more iron. Alliance from Zeta. No, that's not happening, buddy. Right, where is the iron, and how do I get it? I want iron. <sighs> Croatia. Fine. A little bit there. Ah, yes. I need to take these losers. Russia. I need to take Russia. Their truce is until 1920. Alright. We'll do that and we'll take that. We will take the state of Armenia. It's not a lot of population, but it's a lot of iron. About 110,000 people just getting me loads of iron. That would be very, very good if I could have some spicy, tasty iron, please. I want more! French here has some iron. Yeah, that's fine. All right, carrying on. Paramilitary groups. Uh, access from Spain. Oh, what's this? There's a war. It is the Spanish colonial conquest of the Sahara against the French. You're more than welcome, my friend. More than welcome. And I mean, I wonder if we should maybe just try and kill Italy. Kill Italy. I'm never going to take Rome in time, obviously. But... Like, they have a big chunk of iron that we could grab. Problem is, it's Emilia Romagna, which is not a coast. It's a slightly coastal state. But I, have, I need to have access to them. But the sulfur is nice. What with that 500,000 sulfur? I make basically none of it. Like, I would easily, like, deal with it all. Okay, nitrate factory allows sulfur. So good. Then at the Crimean Greeks. They have iron also. There are no Greeks in this area. There are unfortunately basically no Greeks. Oh, sorry, Crimean. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I don't know why I think you said that. There are no Greeks here. It's Tata, Russia, and Ukrainian. 0% Greek. There's like the teeniest, tiniest bit of Greeks there. They've all been eaten. Just been, just been devoured. Okay, so... What is Nitrate Factory? I actually never look at this. So a Nitrate Factory... Oh, it just makes it so that it, 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 it gets the bonus, right? From a Nitrate Factory? That's cool. Like, somewhere that uses artillery, right? Is that steel mill and ammunition factory? So it just, like, boosts for ammunition. Is there anything that has... There we go, yeah. So, sulfur... Producing sulfur in state. Uh, is that what that is? Or to nitrate. Fact. But I had to Google. It's very silly, isn't it? Retreat, right? Sulfur bottlenecks. Hmm. Interesting. I've added a handy dandy nitrate factory, which is added by the Haber process. Oh, has this been added to HFM? Oh, was this actually added? I think it was. Oh my god, so it was actually added. Oh, that's really cool. So this was actually added. Okay. Sulfur is more of an extraction of nitrate chemicals. So this basically just makes it so it makes sulfur. That's cool. So in Thessalia... I don't think we need these machine parts. Or this telephone. But we could put a nitrate factory... 
and a steel mill. And ammunition. Sulfur and steel mill. No. But why not? Why not have a nitrite factory? And a steel mill factory, guys. Why not? This makes 25 wine. I don't think I need billions of wine. I would prefer useful things. There you go. Make me things. Um, okay, anyone else with ammunition and actually using it? This makes 23 and so I kind of need it. <sighs> I feel like I don't need these telephones. I feel like I, I really need to improve what I've got here. Going up to the top now to see if there's anywhere that's actually using and actually making me ammunition. So Bosnia it has the steel mill. I, I make so many telephones. Let's, let's get rid of that. No. Need that nitrate factory. Boom. Perfect. Ah, we just need a l I mean, more ammunition is always good. Central Greece. Okay. Yes. Is that actually making things that I have? This actually makes cotton. I should probably be focusing on cotton and clothes and luxury clothes. Because that's the, where the efficiency lies. All about being efficient, guys. All about being efficient. Okay, and Dardania, we're making that. I think we need the telephones. Do we really need telephones? I don't think we do. Yeah, Byzantium, no, it's not dead, it's just not 100% alive. Let's close this telephone. And maybe make some furniture instead. Uh, Dorichium, any irons, that's fine. Eastern Macedonia. So garbage. Galatia, which is, I think, quite literally just nothing but wine. <laughs> oh well. Here we go, an Econian, perfect. Nitrate and steel mill. Oh, damn it. I know it's a little bit boring having to go through one by one and just picking factories. But you don't have to, you can just let your dudes do it, but I just think it makes it so much better. It actually makes this so you can actually control what's going on, which is, I think, really valuable. Anyone else with ammunition? If not, we... We, we need some ammunition, please. This is making coal. Nah, no, it's not going to be useful, though. Telephones. Again with the telephones. I just don't think I need many telephones. Philippines doesn't really make coal, so it's not really worthwhile. Ontus. Tank factory. Steel. It makes iron. Make a nitrite factory. Let's make an ammunition factory. And a small arms factory. Ammunition. Because I need ammunition more than I need small arms. Uh, in Thessalia, we might as well... Alright, but from there, we might as well build an artillery factory. And in Sudsabanud, we might as well build a ammunition factory. Considering we have all of those explosives here. We'll keep it themed, alright? Alright, looking good. That's it. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Threles is actually the one building sulfur and steel. Why have I actually not got explosive factories and, art and artillery factories here? Why? Why so many things? Yes. Just so many things. I guess we do need the steel mill. I don't think we need the electric gear factories, though. Do we need electric gears? No, we don't. Goodbye. Nice seeing you. I would like the explosives. Okay, there we go. Be sure to like, comment the video, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.